spill on the Gulf Coast, it's, uh, I don't know if you understand how the Gulf Coast way of life is, I mean, fishing and, like, the oyster business, that's like, one of the, that's been an industry here for hundreds of years, and the oil spill is a serious, serious threat to entire communities there are entire communities all along the gulf coast that will just disappear without the fishing and the shrimping and the oyster industry which back in the 80s there was an oil spill in california where they used the same dispersant to try to disperse the oil and there had there's not oysters growing to this day in that part of california because of the dispersant they have dumped and that was, whatever, more than 20 years ago. So, I, don't, I mean, entire communities could disappear entirely. So what do you think is going to happen to them? I have no idea. I, I mean... Are you personally connected in any way to the fishing industry? Me, not personally. I don't have any family down there or anything. I mean, but... I mean, living in New Orleans, seafood is a part of life in New Orleans. I mean... So are you eating seafood right now? Uh, I've been feeling a bit iffy about eating oysters and shrimp and stuff. I mean, I, I don't want to eat oil. Here in the city of New Orleans, tourism is the biggest industry, but in the in the Gulf of Mexico, we supply... I believe 60% of the shrimp and oysters in the country so yeah it's it's not just New Orleans it's it's a lot bigger than just New Orleans I mean the people here are completely outraged the people here we don't even know what to do I mean we need to get it out of BP's hands that's what I know I mean we need the federal government to step in definitely Average Americans, yeah, what, um, what can they do? Because everyone's feeling get helpless. get off your couch and stop watching TV and start calling your local congressmen. Start just like get out and do something. Get in touch with people. Start making noise. Get up and do something about it. Okay. I don't know. I don't think people really understand how big this is impacting people's lives down here. I mean, it's not just like. The fishing, uh, like, it's not just the seafood community, like the oyster people and the fishing people. I mean, there are also people who depend on working in the oil rigs. I mean, like right now, there's a six months, like no rigs are working right now, basically. So for six months at least. And that's, I mean, oil, and seafood are probably the biggest uh, income in the South, in Louisiana at least. As far as what's coming from Washington, I haven't seen a lot lately. Um, as far as I've heard, BP's pretty much in control of everything, and it seems like they're putting on sort of a dog and pony show, like 
when the, the president came down to the Gulf Coast not long ago, and I know people personally who li whose families live on the Gulf Coast, and there were thousands of workers down there on the day that the president showed up, but they were gone the day after Obama left. Um, so why do you think that's going on? Why aren't they cleaning up? I mean, people are cleaning up, but it's nowhere near on the scale that it needs to be at. I, I honestly have no idea why people aren't treating this as seriously as it should be treated. Uh, I mean, this really is one of the biggest disasters that America or the world has ever faced. I mean, that shit's still leaking out into the ocean, like, whatever, how many tens of thousands of gallons a day. Um, yeah. so how does it make you feel? I mean, if you could sort of summarize, like, when you start thinking about it, like, what, what, how, how does um, it make you feel? It's scary. It's really, really scary. Um, it's kind of a horror show. Yeah. I don't know, you see it on the news and, uh, It's just, a, it, it's treated like it's just another news story, you know, it's, but it's so much more than that. It's, um, I don't know, people's lives are being destroyed right now and not entire ecosystems. I mean, if this keeps going on, species are going to go extinct. I mean... Have you lifted up your head in that emanating sound? Have you really given 